guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are gonna do a DIY. You saw the thumbnail. We're gonna take one of these jumbo craft hearts or two in my case, and we are gonna create a, like a topiary. So you need a jumbo craft heart. Um, I'm using some of these shorter dowel sticks from the Dollar Tree and a couple of these cubes just to give it some height, hot glue. And I bought these felt heart stickers. They come in a three pack and you get a variety of these sizes. I will tell you, you get two of the red for every one of the pink and white. I bought five packages to cover two of those big hearts. Then you want some kind of a base. This is just the terracotta. You could put it in something like this. You could even do one of these hearts and either fill this up or put it, put your foam in this drawer and stick your dowel in there, any type of vessel. I'm going with the terracotta pots. You do get a two pack and I'm gonna paint them with black craft paint. I'm gonna be using um, chalk paint for that. So I'm not using these. And then you're gonna need something. Now, I'm using plaster of Paris. It sets up quick, it's heavy, it's gonna give my base some stability. If you don't have plaster of Paris, you could fill the bottom with rocks and then put some foam in the top and glue your stick in there, or you could just put foam in and attach that and then maybe put um, some adhesive on this, some like removable something to hold it to your, to your um, surface. But because this is big and it has some height, I'm gonna go with the plaster of Paris. Oh, my one of my pots is a little bit cracked, which is fine. Um, I also have some glue to help out. Um, I'm using some gold markers, just some a myriad of tools, and then a container to mix your plaster in. I will probably mix it in a paper, or like a plastic cup, and then use a paper or a popsicle stick to stir it. Obviously, I'm gonna need some type of a paintbrush to paint these. And then I'm putting in the bottom to cover this hole, I'm gonna put painter's tape in the bottom and I'm just gonna paint the inside to like here and then I'll paint all of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna paint these black and then I will be back. Alrighty. So what I've done is I painted the pots black and then I took on the inside two of those wood cubes and glued them on top of each other. And then I glued, this is one of these dowel rods and I took it in a pencil sharpener. I made a sharp tip. So when I put it on the styrofoam, so the first thing we're gonna do is set up the plaster of Paris. So I have a cup, I'm not measuring. I'm just mixing until it becomes the consistency that I think it should right in this little cup here. That might be too much, who knows. Um, it starts getting warm right away. Let me do this, just to give my cup a little more stability. And I'm just using a popsicle stick to stir it up. Cause this is gonna take longer to set up um, before I get to move it on the styrofoam heart. So I'm just mixing it up. Nothing too traumatic here. I may have added a little too much water. You, I like it to be like pancake batter. But right now I have a lot of thick at the bottom. So I'm just trying to stir it up here kind of thicken it up. And then we're gonna put, I have to get it some um, moss on top, but I don't know how much it's gonna take to fill up my cup. But we're gonna add just a little more in here of the plaster of Paris. And like I said, if you don't have this, you can utilize all kinds of things, especially rocks and foam. Just hot glue some rocks at the bottom. Oops, well, I might have 
made it too thick now. Well, I don't think so. Okay. And what we're gonna do is get this down in here. And if I have to mix more, I can mix, always mix more. Just to make sure. And I'm probably going to have to repaint this because now I have white all over the outside. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to mix up some more plaster, probably in a larger bowl, but I would like to clean this off on the outside which is nice until it sets up, you can wipe it off, which is good, right? And then go in here, kind of get that all cleaned up. And then I can just always go over it with more paint if I need to. But we definitely know, and that honestly could be enough because I'm gonna get, um, put some of the moss on the top. So it doesn't matter, that'll be enough. Okay, so that portion is done. I'm just trying to clean up the top, right? So we can see what we're doing. And if I need to after, I can go over it with some more paint. But I think that looks pretty good. We're gonna let that harden and that will take some time to do that. So while that's going on, we're gonna work on the heart itself. Now, like I said, I bought five packages of these little hearts and I'm doing the top red and then white, pink. I'm just gonna get it started to show you what I'm doing. At first I didn't want the adhesive ones, but there's actually a benefit to the adhesive ones. Ha, huh, they stick. And I'm just gonna put hearts, and you can put whatever pattern you would like. There is no rhyme or reason. I'm doing just rows of different colors. So I will keep going with this and then I will check back in with you and show you how this is going. But they stick to the foam. All right, let's keep moving. Okay, I put all of the hearts on here. I did the back just plain red. So I did little and then the medium size on the front. I did two of these and they're, they're different. So I'll show you what the other one looks like. I'm gonna be hanging them in separate places. But I also did the back red. I will tell you that out of all of those five packages, this is all I have left is a handful. So it takes a lot. Now I'll show you in a minute how I covered the plaster of Paris, but for now we're gonna put this. So it's all, all the plaster is in here. It's been sitting overnight. It's pretty heavy. My dowel rod is nice and straight and it's pokey and I painted it gold. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna go straight into this heart, right? Okay, so now it's on there. And then what I did on the other one, it worked well, is I took some of this Bostic glue, but you can use any glue. And I filled the little crevice with glue. And then I'm just gonna put that back on there. And I'm gonna let it dry. So I'm gonna let that sit over here and dry. 
and we'll bring this one over and this one is done. We're just gonna lay the rope. I tried using some of the green. I didn't care for it. If you like the greenery, go for it. It just wasn't my cup of tea. I'm trying to figure out the best way to show you this. So what I'm gonna do is put down hot glue and I wanna put a fair amount and run pretty quickly this bottom layer. And this glue gun gets pretty hot. It is it has a hot and a low temp. I keep putting it on hot by mistake and getting glue everywhere. Okay, so then I'm just going to lay this, and this is nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. And I think that the inside of this takes, I did two wraps on the other one. So we'll do the same on this one. So there we go. And then I'll pop that off. And then any of this glue that gets left behind can just pop off. It doesn't really stick very well to the terracotta. Oops, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing, but a little slower this time. So we're gonna put some glue here. And then we're gonna go around the top. Now I have some stringy, I don't want this stringy. Sorry, I'm getting glue off my fingers. I should have done this before before I um, put the top on, but this was my test one here. Okay, and then I'm just doing another layer of hot glue. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go around. I kinda want it tight around that. I'm sorry if this isn't good for you to see. Ooh. Ooh, that was my glue gun. I better pick that up. Got it. Please don't worry. Okay. And there we go. Yeah, so definitely wanting two of this rope. It's just a little fussy for me to show you what I'm doing. But I feel like we've all done this with the Dollar Tree rope a million times. And I'm just kind of giving it a good tug and a good press. Now I also made a pretty bow. to put on here. Okay, so we're gonna, gonna cut this. And we're gonna go right down in here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna Tuck that down in the side. Make sure it gets down in there. Just gonna take a pair of these. There we go. And that's how it looks. And I like it better with the rope um, than I do, I gotta get the glue off my, tweezers. Now that was not a good plan. All right, we'll let that sit for a second. I'm going to turn off the glue gun. I made these bows. There's just some red and some white and I want to tape tie it to the bottom here. So I'm going to turn it over and I just took Baker's twine And I could glue it on there, but 
Okay. I could hot glue it, but I wasn't sure where I wanted it to go. So I'm just tying it to the top on the back. And one more. And that is how that topiary is gonna look. I'll give you a better view here. Finished product. I am in love. I love these giant hearts. I love how they stand up. They're not overly heavy, but with the little foam stickers, it just brings them to life. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this simple DIY and you make one for yourself. Have a good one. Bye.